Scream 7 News Reaction. Hello and welcome to another Im impromptu horror news reaction video. Uh, I don't know whether this is going to become a, a regular thing, it's just that it's been quite a busy week, hasn't it? Um, last week, of course, I did a, my reaction take on the Halloween reboot slash TV series news and what I thought about that. And it was only a couple of days after that that we got the big news about Scream 7. Now, Scream 7's been through a bit of a... <laughs> a bit of a cock-up in, in recent months, of course. There was supposedly going to be a Scream 7 following on from 5 and 6 with Melissa Rivera and, and, and Jenna Ortega. And it was supposedly being directed by Christopher Landon, who did Happy Death Day. And then Melissa Barrera said some things on Instagram that somebody or other took offence to and sacked her. And about two minutes after that, Ortega and Landon both said, screw this, I'm out of here. Uh, leaving that train wreck quickly behind. And of course, that kind of left things completely screwed up because they've focused these movies on those two characters since the fifth one. And now they're buggering off. Uh, so... <laughs> So it's like, okay, well, well, congratulations, you seem to have shot yourselves in the foot there. Uh, and of course, last week we got the news that not only is, is Nev Campbell coming back, having sat Scream 6 out, uh, presumably in, in, the, in the lead rather than the side as she was in Scream 5, but also that uh, it's being directed by none other than Kevin Williamson, who of course created the whole thing. He wrote the original Scream, Scream 2 and Scream 4. So, okay. Uh, so what do I think about this? Well, I'm kind of in two minds. I mean, I do think it, it, there's a certain level of whiplash there, given that we have been kind of reframing these new, these new movies from five onwards around these new characters and slowly but surely sort of phasing out the original characters and now those new characters are both fucked and gone and uh, bye <laughs> and we're, go we're going back to sydney again okay there's a little bit of whiplash there um now I I as for the politics side of things i i don't get involved in that sort of thing and i don't really care one way or the other uh it's unfortunate situation i think it's a whether you agree or disagree, I, I think the the best. I think I think the real lesson is that everybody should just stay away from anti-social media. That's that's my personal opinion, especially celebrities. Just just stay off it, because you're gonna piss somebody off. Uh, w w whether you're right or wrong, you're gonna piss somebody off, and that somebody might be your employer. So, mm, probably best to just stay away from the whole train wreck. That's just my opinion. Um. As for the rest of it, well, I, I, I kind of think it's potentially good news. I mean, I, I, I love the Scream series. Uh, I love the first four. I've, I've, said, this, I've said this many times. I, I was happy with it. The original is one of the best movies ever made, as far as I'm concerned. It's one of my favorite horror movies, one of my favorite movies all of all time. I was quite happy with it being left as a trilogy like it was supposed to be. I was kind of like, eh, with, with Scream 4, really? Another one after over a decade, really? Ended up loving that movie completely. It's my favourite of the sequels. And again, I was like that with Scream 5, after a, a, another long break, and Wes Craven dying as well. Uh, I was like, really? Uh? And honestly, I, I thought Scream 5 was absolutely awful. I hated Scream 5. I hated the disrespect they showed to Dewey. I, I I just I hated the the, the new characters. I, I, uh, I didn't think Melissa Barrera was terribly good in the lead in that movie. Uh, the I thought Jenna Ortega was clearly the best one in it, even when I didn't even know who the hell she was. That was like the first thing I'd ever seen her in, and I thought, and I was sitting there going, she's kind of more charismatic than the lead, to be honest. Uh, and I thought the story and the plot were, and the motives were all just complete bollocks. I hated that fucking movie. Honestly, I kind of thought Scream was done for me. And then I kind of saw Scream 6 out of desperation to get out of the house on my birthday and go see a movie. And I ended up quite liking that. I ended up thinking that that was actually pretty decent and considerably better than 5. The new characters, including Melissa Barrera, were better in that one. 
so, so there's a certain irony in that, in that I'm just I'm I'm just starting to get used to these new characters and 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 accept them. And okay, this is where we're going. <laughs> now they're fucking gone, and we're going back to the originals again. Okay. Um, <laughs> Look, at the end of the day, as I said, I don't care about the politics. I don't care about the whiz and the widens and all the rest of that. Will it be a good film? I think the chances of that just went up, particularly with Williamson being back. I think the chances of it being good are, are considerably better than it would have been. I do worry. I do wonder what they're going to do in the sense that while the fans love Nev Campbell and love Sydney, the younger generation don't particularly care, I don't think. And I mean, she's kind of getting on in a, a, a bit. I kind of think so. This, so you, you you risk the you run the risk of kind of the younger generation not being terribly interested. I think there's potentially a way behind that, in the, given that they're likely focusing on Sid's family. I mean, I've heard, we haven't had this confirmed, I think, but I have heard rumours that they, they're they going to get Patrick Dempsey back as well from Scream 3, because it was kind of implied in 5 and 6 that they ended up getting married and, and having a family. So I, I think you could potentially get around that that potential problem by maybe having Sid's kids be teenagers and having some hip new talent playing them to appeal to the to get down with the kids you know that's a potential way you could do about it i don't know that that's a slight concern that while people like me are going to go and you know see see sydney or what about the uh you know the the, the fickle modern crowd mm. i suppose that remains to be seen but personally speaking personally okay I, i'm perfectly happy with this you know i mean i would have been perfectly happy I, I i liked scream six i didn't like five but i liked six so i was kind of happy with them carrying on as long as they kept getting better and christopher london wasn't a bad choice i, I haven't really liked i didn't really like freaky or death day 2 but i did like the original so it's not a terrible choice but again, I mean, I can't say I'm sat here going, oh, no, it's going to be awful with Nev Campbell and Kevin Williamson back. It's like, OK, <laughs> that, that, that's fine, too, I guess. Uh, I just hope it's good. Look, I, I love these movies. I love slasher movies. I love horror movies. We've had six movies. I've only disliked one of them, really. I mean, they're ups and downs, and I have fav uh, you know, some, some are more favorites than others. But there's only really one I would say was completely fucking garbage keep up that hit rate and uh, yeah what well, uh, you know whatever I'll, I'll i'll almost certainly be there with my ice cream in the cinema for scream seven anyway thanks for listening bye for now